guys, it's Gabby. What is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a what's on my iPhone. I do have the iPhone 16 Pro Max in white titanium. If you missed the unboxing of this phone, be sure to go check it out. But I wanted to share with you all of the apps that I have on my phone, the most used apps that I love, and some of the customization I've done with iOS 18. I have had the iPhone 16 Pro Max since its launch date, so I've had it for about a month now. And so far, I've had a pretty good experience with it. I've really liked using it so far. I did upgrade from a 14 Pro Max, so there wasn't too much of a difference, but I did notice an upgrade in the camera and battery life, which is huge for me personally, because I'm on my phone a lot taking photos and videos as a content creator. The only downside of this phone that I've experienced so far is that it keeps dropping Wi-Fi and it's very glitchy on Wi-Fi sometimes. I'm hoping that's just an iOS 18 kind of bug and that will be fixed and smoothed out. But so far, overall, I've been really liking this phone. I feel like I have spent an embarrassing amount of time trying to customize my phone. I am not usually a very creative person in that sense, but I definitely wanted to make it more aesthetic. And with iOS 18, I feel like there's a lot more customization available for the iPhone. So I've spent a lot of time trying to perfect it, but I feel like I just have to show you now and I want to show you how I've customized everything on my phone. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's get started with what's on my iPhone. I do have it on this little charging stand from ESR that I got off of Amazon. I will have it linked down below in case you're interested, but I honestly really like having a wireless charging stand on my desk. This is also a Qi 2 charger, so it is Apple certified, which is great. And it also has a space for your AirPods back here. And I think you can also get a little attachment to do your Apple Watch on the back. So it really is a three-in-one charger, which is fantastic, but Mostly I just use it for my phone, but let's jump right into what's on my iPhone. All right, starting off with this little wallpaper here on my lock screen, I got this one off of Pinterest. I feel like Pinterest has a lot of great options for different backgrounds and screensavers and wallpapers for your iPhone. On the lock screen, I have it very simple and nothing too special, just the date, the time. And then the only widget I have on here is the weather widget because I like to check the weather to see, you know, what to expect when I go outside and what outfit I should put on for the day. And then down here, I have these two little icons and these are from ice cream screen that I programmed to actually launch apps. So this one launches Apple Music and this one launches messages. Since the iPhone 16 does have the camera launch button, I felt it was kind of unnecessary to have the camera launcher down here. So I did change those, but that's the only customization I really put on my lock screen. But iScreen is a great little customization app if you guys want to install cute little like emojis or different icons down here. All right, and jumping into kind of the main home screens here. So the first page I have is kind of my main page, I like to call it, where I have all of the apps that I most frequently use and kind of the default ones that come with the iPhone. So the first thing I have here actually is a little widget from iScreen. I did customize this one to kind of blend more with the background so it gives more of a seamless look, which I really like. And I do use the free version of iScreen. You can pay for this app and it does unlock a little bit more more features for you and customization. However, I think the free version does just fine. So I really liked this clock because I can quickly reference it and I feel like it ties in kind of the theme a little bit more. Now I did change all of the icons with widgets and I did get this theme pack from another YouTuber named Kayla. I will have her video and theme pack linked down below. She also has a tutorial on how to install them. So definitely go check her out if you want to install the same type of theme and learn how to install those on your phone. But getting into all the actual apps, I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory. We have phone, FaceTime, WhatsApp, settings, Apple Maps, weather, notes, Google Calendar, photos, camera, and reminders. I feel like I don't really use reminders that often. I mostly just make like wish lists on here of things that I want to buy so I can kind of keep track of them. Plus, I feel like using the method of adding something to a wish list and then waiting a week and seeing if you still want it, it's a really good method for me so I don't impulse shop too much. So I do like having kind of like just a running list of 
things that I want to buy. And then here I do have this little widget. Again, this first one is from Kayla. It's more of a decorative widget, just a full calendar, which I really like having on my home screen so I can quickly reference the date and kind of just take a quick glance at the calendar. But I did make this a stack with my actual Apple calendar so that I can see what I have on for the day. So this one's a little bit more functional. I definitely feel like this one's more cute. Like I said, I like to kind of reference the calendar as a whole for the month. So she does have a little pack for September, October, November, and December. So definitely check that out as well. And then down here in the dock, I have messages, mail, Safari, and Apple Music. Again, top used apps down here and something really simple, but I love the look of this homepage. I feel like it's really cohesive and it's really aesthetic. So this is kind of the first page that I have here. The second page I have set up here, I have the batteries up here so I can see quickly at a glance what my Apple Watch is at and phone. Yes, you can like look here, but I feel like I just need a, a space filler for this page. And then I also have the weather app up there so I can look at a longer term forecast. You can definitely switch back and forth between these two, which I like. Then I have two little decorative widgets that I installed through iScreen and I got these images off of Pinterest. Again, I feel like Pinterest has really good aesthetic, cute, photos that you can use. And then on here, I just have all of my social media apps that I pretty much use on a daily basis as well. This is probably the page that I'm most on, to be honest, when I'm on my phone. So in this folder here, we have LTK Creator, which is the back end for my like to know it. And then I have my Threads app. I feel like I don't really go on Threads a lot or really at all, but I still have it just in case I ever want to go on it. Then we also have Reddit, which I use for Lululemon drops. I like to be on the Lululemon page as well to see what people are spotting in stores, new releases, markdowns, you know, all of that fun stuff. And then I have my link tree, which is used for my link in bio, Messenger, and Facebook as well. So just kind of some basic apps in here. And then of course we have Instagram, TikTok, and SoundCloud. I like to use SoundCloud to find some workout mixes. And for Ringette as well, this is kind of my pre-game playlist. And they have some really fun kind of mixes and mashups and things like that on here. So I like to use SoundCloud for that. Uh, we have Pinterest, again, pretty self-explanatory, YouTube, and YouTube Studio, which is the back end for my YouTube creator stuff. And then this app is called Team Snap, which has all of my Ringette team stuff on here. So our schedule, our team chat, and our roster and things like that. I'm on there pretty frequently as well because I'm in charge of scheduling or inputting all of our scheduled games into the app. So I have that one on here. And then moving on to my last homepage here, I have this little widget called Our Groceries. I love this app for grocery planning and I love having the widget here because it's super easy just to dive in and add things to the list or reference it while I'm grocery shopping. I know you can use reminders and stuff, but I feel like this one is just a little bit more intuitive for me and I like that I can kind of categorize everything as well so it makes it easier when I'm shopping at the store and not to get distracted. So that is my little widget up here. We also use Rebe, which is a flyer app. So you can check the flyers and see what's on sale for the week. So we use this every week to kind of plan our meals and our groceries according to what's on sale. Then I also have this app called Stowcard, which basically holds all of your memberships, which is great. I absolutely love this. I've been using this for a while and it definitely helps cut down on the bulk you have to carry around. Cause I remember, you know, at one time you had to carry a stack of cards like this thick and that was just not the vibe. I feel like minimal wallets are still the vibe and I love having all of my memberships just on my phone. It eliminates a lot of clutter in my purse and in my wallet. Next row we have here is kind of more photo video editing apps. So of course we have Lightroom. This one here is called Lens Buddy, which is really great if you are a content creator and need to take photos by yourself, hello. And it basically just sets it on a timer and takes multiple photos for you. Then we have CapCut, which is what I use to edit most of my TikToks and short form videos on here. Any long form videos, I usually use my computer and use Final Cut Pro, but this is great for like little in-app phone editing. Then we have all of my banking items in a folder over here. Here. And then we have all of my fast food apps in here. So Tim Hortons, 7-Eleven, A&W, Second Cup, Cobb Spread, Wendy's, Starbucks, and McDonald's. I definitely use these two down here the most. Sometimes if we're out and about and planning to eat out, then sometimes the apps have good deals, coupons on them. And then I also have like points and things and memberships and whatnot. So I keep all of those in a little folder. And then in here, I have all of my shopping apps. So my LTK, the regular LTK, Poshmark, where I like to sell my Lululemon stuff. And then of course the actual Lululemon app for shopping, browsing and content creator stuff since I am a Lululemon creator. Then down here, I just have a few like more random apps, I guess. 
This is Hatch, so this is what we use to control our sound machine in the baby's room. Super great, I love the Hatch sound machine, and then you can kind of customize the colors, the sounds, your schedule, and all that stuff on the app. So we've really loved that, actually, since having a baby. And I have two games that I sometimes play here. The first one here is Burger Shop. So if you've never heard of Burger Shop, basically you make burgers. Um, but I find this one is kind of relaxing for me, even though, I don't know, some people might find it stressful. I just like making everybody a little burger for lunch here. So you can make the sodas and make the burgers and all that fun stuff. So there you go. That's that app. And then I also have Best Fiends, which I like to play if I have a little bit more time to kill or just want something a little bit slower paced. This is like basically a matching game. If you never played it, I feel like it's kind of therapeutic in a way. So that is everything on my actual home screens. I don't really use focus modes or anything like that. I feel like I barely use those actually. So I don't have any like widgets or anything for those, but I'm gonna show you my control center here because I know in iOS 18, you can fully customize this, which is so cool. I feel like I've kept mine pretty basic, but up here I have my music control, which I like to access really quickly. And then I have the kind of standard controls for like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, all that fun stuff there. Then I have my silent mode and or portrait orientation lock mode up here with my brightness and volume. Again, very standard widgets. And then I also have this little widget um, installed from iScreen. It is a water counter. So it's a tracker. You can tap on it and obviously it tracks you know, up and then it kind of resets. So I like to use this, kind of reminds me to drink water every time I see it and tapping it is pretty fun. So I do enjoy that. Then we have focus modes. I usually use do not disturb if I'm filming and then sleep mode. I need to like personalize those ones, but I just haven't. I also have my Apple TV remote, again, for quick access. This little widget is decorative, so it switches between milk and cookies. And again, that's installed through iScreen. It doesn't do anything. I just thought it was kind of cute to play with there, but I wanna add more decorative widgets, I think. And then down here on the bottom, very standard Apple widgets. We have screen recording, low battery mode, or low power mode, whatever you like to call it, the Shazam, flashlight, calculator and alarm clock. So I do love that you get to customize your control center a little bit more with iOS 18. I find that it opens up a lot of possibilities. So you can also make these widgets bigger or smaller if you want. So I think that's kind of fun. You can really customize it. You can make multiple pages as well of widgets. That's kind of my control center. And then I actually take off a lot of my apps from my home screen and just keep them in my app library. So going through the folders here, we have social. I think pretty much all of these are actually on my homepage, except for this group me chat. I am a part of a group chat on there, but I feel like I don't really use it because it still comes through messages anyways, but I have this because you needed it to kind of install to send to messages. So I just have it in here anyways. And then utilities, again, I feel like this is all pretty basic self-explanatory things that come on the iPhone. Next, we have the creativity section. So this is the app iScreen, like I was mentioning. Again, there's lots of different customization things that you can do with your phone, little widgets to install. If you get the paid version, you obviously have a lot more options on here, but it's cute. Definitely check it out. I think it's probably one of the more popular apps for customizing your iPhone. We have camera, this is Canon Connect, so I use my DSLR, and then I can send photos or videos to my phone with that, CapCut. Color Tone, which again is just an editing app, but I mostly use Lightroom now. This one kind of has more presets. This one is a little bit more customizable. So I like to use both depending on what I'm editing for. DJI, I do have a handheld gimbal for my phone when I'm filming. I don't really use it that often. I think I might sell it actually, but you need the Connect app to be able to use that gimbal. Lens Buddy, Photos, and YouTube Studio. Not sure why, just YouTube Studios in here, but okay. Then we have Entertainment, Podcast. I feel like I never use that. And Apple TV, I think are the only ones that aren't really on my home screen. Shopping. Yeah, I feel like all of these apps are pretty much on there. I do have the Apple Store app just in case I want to browse Apple accessories or need a charger or something, then I can like just quickly order it. I don't know. I I did have this downloaded for when the iPhones pre-launched because I feel like that is the best way to check if there's an iPhone in stock. Then I also have LTK, Lululemon, Our Groceries, 
PC Optimum, Poshmark, Rebe, Sephora. I do try and stay away from this one because I feel like I can get sucked in. Although I do find the app a little bit overwhelming. So I have it in here, Stokart, and then Triangle Rewards. In Health and Fitness, we have Apple Fitness, The Hatch that I was mentioning. This is Health, and this is an app called Lively, which is technically a cycle tracker. But one thing I like about this one is that it actually tells you or suggests which types of foods to eat during your cycle to align with your cycle and boost your mood, productivity, and stuff like that. So I thought that aspect was really cool about this app and wanted to give that a go and just kind of see like what they suggested to eat during the month um, at which times and see if that like made a difference. And then I also have this What to Expect app. Again, I use this more for pregnancy when I was pregnant with myself. Son, but I still use it now to kind of jump on the bulletin board with other moms with kids around the same age kind of same birth month as mine so I still keep that on here just in case but that's literally all I use it for now then we have food and drinks I think everything oh blaze pizza I definitely don't use that I could probably get rid of that one but food and drinks I think everything was on my home screen and this is other I think everything on here is on my, oh, Google Rewards. This one pays you basically to do surveys, which is fun. So sometimes the survey will come up. It's like usually 20 cents, but for 10 seconds of your life, I feel like that's kind of worth it. And it's always kind of fun to see what survey they give you. And we also have this Solid Starts app, which I feel like should be in a baby folder. But if you have a little that's starting solids, I highly recommend this app. It tells you all of the foods here, how to serve them, things like that. So how to cut them, any choking hazards, the allergens that might be with it. I feel like we don't use this one as much anymore now that we're kind of like fully into solid foods, but this was great to reference when he was younger. And even if we are adding a new food, trying out a new food, I can quickly reference this, make sure that it's safe and how to serve it properly for my baby. So really, really love the Solid Starts app. This one is the free version. You can get the paid version, which gives you more like meal ideas. You can track the foods a little bit better. Um, just gives you a little bit more customization, but love solid starts. And we also have this Wiz app, which controls my color light bulbs. So that is everything on my iPhone. So that is everything on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below on what your favorite app to use on your phone is, or if you have any recommendations that I should check out that maybe I don't have on my phone, then leave those down below in the comments. But I hope you enjoyed seeing what apps I do use and maybe found something Something useful for yourself but thanks so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos and I hope to see you in my next one bye guys